we have two practicals uh, lined up one is uh, primer designing for a set of uh, jeans and second one is uh, how to prepare your uh, sequence for submission uh, starting from trace file until you get accession number from different databases i think i sent the link to one of the students and perhaps all of you got the same link got it right you work in a group that's better you are in group uh, mode or in a different mode then you rearrange no come to group mode because i am sure some of you may not have the right laptop right so please rearrange as per the group formation group 1 here 2 here 3 4 and 5 quick so from tomorrow i will not announce this i expect you to be in group format only okay first download clc it might take some time but you don't need clc immediately okay what is needed imme immediately is primer 3 plus oligo calculator and these two are immediately needed and of course you have genbank access also it is in the group for group mode now where is your laptop open it no 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 number of times i communicated to you all of you without load laptop please don't come for practicals i don't want to listen to any kind of excuses i already told that's not our <laughs> how many of you are not having laptop you cannot do the practicals it's for your point of view only i'm telling you will be simply sitting sound sahi hai raha hai so the first thing is that you need to pick a region that is conserved within that genus right because the primer designing should always be done using a conserved region conserved region means that should be present in all the like that is a genus signature only right so uh, you select one gene download the sequence and then taking that gene you do a blasting right the ncbi blast you do so that ncbi blast will give you a several hits starting from your 100% identical to 99 98 so you try to pick those entries which are above like 98 or 99% because you are searching for the conserved region right so if it is more identical then only you can say na that conserved region is more so just to pick that thing you take several entries maybe 5 to 10 entries you can take right download the sequence of those entries the same gene okay the same gene but the multiple species of that particular genus so once that will come then what you do uh, you do the multiple alignment there are several softwares where you can align all the sequences one is uh, which uh, morning session that has been demonstrated that was clc right you can do the multiple alignment of those particular sequences in that clc software so what that software will do uh, it will align it as per your basis like a a a it will uh, i'll show you later how it will come so that can show you like you can visualize that where all that variation within those uh, genus or organism that will be appearing on your screen you can see it very well but you need to design primers on your conserved region so once you are done with that thing that okay this is the conserved region you pick any of the reference sequence from that set of sequences right any sequence you because that is a representative of all the entries which you already downloaded 
when like this is the sequence which I downloaded, you can select the sequence, you can go to the primer 3 plus 1 online software is there. You can do it manually also, but these days there are several software that can generate the primers for you and those are working very well. right? So, primer 3 plus is one of that software. You can see this window. and paste the sequence over there. right? Then, uh, uh, let us come to this thing later. First, I will tell you like primers, uh, you all know that that is a stretch of around 17 to 25, the optimum size of the primers are 17 to 25. So, you just please read out all those things, what are, are the basic criteria for designing the primers. One should be the length of the primer, the optimum length should be from 17 to 25 somewhere around that, right. Then the second thing should be that your GC content that should be somewhere between 30 percent to 60 percent. Then your uh, melting temperature that should be somewhere around 50 to 65 within that range, right. And one more thing you have to take care that uh, the stretch of the primer which you are picking that should not be having any secondary structure or the repeat region. If some secondary structure or repeat region or like uh, uh, it will form the homodimer in itself or the hairpin loop type of structure, right. So, you have to avoid such regions. So, that validation we will be doing using another software that is oligocalculator. So, now after checking this, there are several options general settings, advanced settings. This is the sequence. One criteria is that what should be the length of my amplifier? My PCR product for which the region which I want to amplify like this hole is the region. Here I need to design the forward primer, here is the reverse primer. So, this much area will be amplified using that set of primers. right? So, right now uh, like uh, for general uh, partial sequencing, we generally pick around 500 to 1 kb region that is more than enough for a single gene, if it is a partial sequencing only until and unless you require the whole gene to be sequenced. So, that depends like how much region you want to amplify. Then the second thing is that uh, while designing the primer, you just keep this thing in your mind whether you are going to take that particular sequence up to the Sanger's level. Yesterday, uh, it was demonstrated that a Sanger's can accommodate 800 uh, like up to 1 kb region only. right? So, you have to let us suppose you have a region of around 2 kb. In that case, you need to divide that 2 kb in 2 or 3 stretches, because in Sanger sequencing single primer will give you around 5 to 600 good basis that you can take further for the analysis part. Right. So, accordingly you have to take you design if you have a 2 kb, you design 2 sets of primer 1 kb each, 1 kb each. Because if you are getting it sequenced from both the sides forward and reverse, then your 1 kb will be read very well. right? But if you will be amplifying a longer region and try to sequence just using a single set of primers, then uh, you may not get the internal sequence. 5600 from this side will be read, 5600 this side will be read and the inner portion you will be missing, right? because they assure you that they specifically mention in their <coughs> brochures and catalogs also that we will provide per reaction only 500 to 600 good quality base. The data may go up to 1 kb also, but the quality of those bases are not good that you cannot use it for your further analysis. right? So, here uh, although my gene length seems to be very long, but we will put some criteria. It will ask you that what should be the range of the PCR product you want, where do you want to design your primers or how much uh, long should be your PCR product. right? So, it has several range, if you will just see the product size range, you can mention according to your requirement. Right. If it is, let us suppose if it is uh, uh, you are trying to design the primers for your real time work, there you may have to design the 
primers just for the smaller amplicons that is fit for your real time work right right from like 100 to 120 base or 80 to 120 so you will be putting that range in that so this entirely depends on you how much you want let's suppose i am putting around 850 to 1000 right then uh, the criteria which i was telling you right now one was the primer size you just see your screens another is the primer tm the optimum they have mentioned over here and the range they have mentioned over there so these softwares are helpful because all the criteria of primer designing that software is already taking care right so you don't have to push to uh, put too much of your mind to uh, decide that what should be the length or it will take care of all those stuff so after doing this you have to simply say pick primers because the gc content has also been taken care see now uh, it had designed a several sets of primers for us it will show you where that primers will be designed this is your forward primer and this will be your reverse primer within the sequence which I already already entered in that. So, it has shown me that where all are the possible primers that can be designed using those optimum criteria, those optimum features right. So, this is the sequence of my forward primer and this is the sequence of my reverse primer right. Here it has mentioned that what is the start base of my forward primer and what is the start base of my reverse primer and amplicon size it has given here that is 958 base pair. It means it is coming within the range which I actually entered here. I wanted that my product should be 850 to 1 kb. So, within that range whatever the best primers it can find it find for you right. Then it will give you everything is ready made only over here. It will give you the length of the primer that is the 20 bases it is showing. Then your T m that is also within the range G c content that has also been taken care right. Then another thing that the T m of your forward and reverse primer the T m of your forward and reverse primer the difference of those T m should not be more than 5 degree right the difference of the tm of forward and reverse can you tell me why because you will be putting both the primers in a single reaction you will be setting up one annealing temperature right so the temperature should be within the range where your both the primers can bind to your template right so you have to avoid if at all you are designing any primers manually then also you will have to take care that the difference or the uh, uh, T m should be almost equal like if it is 55 then it is 66 reverse it is ok right. It should not be more than 5 degree difference. So, now these two primers I got it, but still I am interested in checking whether these primers are uh, good enough within the structure itself like whether some hairpin loop or secondary structure or dimerization is happening or not right. The thing is I need to validate these primers now. It has given me a set of the first set from this software that is a very like a good working primer always we I we tried it several times since we are using this only. The first one is the best one like we are doing with the NCBI blast or something now the first hit is always the better right. But it is giving you if you go down it will give you another options also right. So, at another region, but with the same product range this is the second set of primers pair 2 this is a pair 3 pair 4 pair 5 right. So, it will show you all the uh, features of it whatever it has designed. Now, the next thing comes the validation of these primers. So, for validation what we will do, we will use another software that is you can use another others also there are many softwares 
we are here using oligo calculator right so you have to select the sequence of your forward primer this you have to go step wise this window will come you just paste this right and the complementarity it will show here then you press check self complementarity right so now this window will appear it will show all the complementarity features of this particular primer if at all any hairpin loop or the dimerization is happening within this primer it will highlight over here right but now here it is coming potential hairpin none complementarity none and potential self annealing site that is also none it means this particular primer that will work well right so i can pick this primer for my further studies same thing you will have to do with the reverse primer also then now one uh, very important thing people generally do mistake the region that i have highlighted that is the sequence of the primer right the reverse primer but if i'll check this sequence in my uh, that uh, previous sequence which i have actually entered this sequence you will not find this particular stretch of sequence can you people tell why yeah so please while designing the primers you be particular that the reverse primer is always the reverse complement of your actual sequence i have seen people designing both the primers on the sequence and then they will find that why my pcr is not working right you please sure be sure that your reverse primer is the reverse complement of that if you are going through the software then it will design it according to that but if you are doing it manually please take care that the primer sequence should be reverse complement whenever you are designing the primer and sending it for synthesis they will ask you 5 prime to 3 prime sequence they want right so the forward will be 5 prime to 3 prime but reverse until and unless you will make it a reverse complement it will not become 5 prime to 3 prime right clear any doubts please ask for this but this is like uh, uh, people make mistake at this point right so the same thing reverse primer will be copy and then so this is also uh, like all criterias are clear right so we can pick this particular set of primers for our further analysis any questions any doubts please try it yourself at least in one gene Hmm. Okay. So, uh, when taking some sequences, uh -huh. uh, you try to avoid that region, take it beyond that region because uh, while uh, amplifying that region, you can add some additive. But while designing the primers, you have to. Although there are primers, those are T rich also. There are primer, but you have to then change the conditions of your PCR. There are specialized condition then, right? you can uh, you can go with that there are like if you had heard that oligo dt and all that primers na there are because if there is nothing in that region it is only 80 80 80 repeat repeat region or homopolymer region that you cannot do anything na you have to design but then your pcr conditions and all those will be different right now this primer uh, this is done Uh, you just try to map this sequence on your actual sequence also now how you map uh, forward sequence you can just map as such because you will find that sequence in your uh, actual sequence reverse you have to make it reverse complement using some software manually obviously you should not do because you will make mistakes there is one software which is uh, 
there are many, but this is one software which is sequence manipulation suit. There are several applications in journal also you can use, you can write down this thing, because this is having a many options which you can use for your like this uh, um, sequence related things. So, here uh, the option is there reverse complement. So, you will have to put simply your sequence and it will do for you, right? it will change it to reverse complement. Like this is your sequence, you simply paste your sequence and say submit, it will show you the reverse complement of that. Right? There are several other applications, you can just explore whenever you are doing. So, this is the primer designing part, if please any doubts you can ask. Then you have to pick another region, do not do select that region, do not select. Either you the see, uh, either you can go with the second primer, you can check or what you can do manually also you can try. If let us suppose, uh, this is the primer, this, this one is the primer and here I am getting some uh, looping or some hairpin. Right. So, what I can do, these 4 5 bases where actually the bonding is happening, you avoid those region and you can pick another 4 5 uh, bases from the forward region. Right. So, you can do like suppose, let us suppose this is the area which I am getting the primers right. and uh, in this particular primer, if I am getting some uh, hairpin loop structure or complementarity, then I can avoid those last bases and I can try picking the uh, upstream, uh, downstream of those sequence. Right? I can pick the region from there, it will work. Right? Or you can select another set also, you can check that also, but generally what happens now, if there is some region now, then uh, it will keep on coming that only. In all sets now, what the software will do, let us suppose forward primer, it will keep on changing, reverse it will keep same it generally do that also. right? We have checked several times. So, that call you have to take, like if you, you have to avoid that region, you avoid those 4 or 5 bases, where the looping is happening and you select few bases downstream of, upstream of that. right? Primer designing, this, this will remain same for all the things. If you need to whole gene, if you need, then you have to divide it into different, different the same thing which I told you that if you need to sequence a whole gene, let us suppose it is a 4 5 kb, but that will come at a later stage. That is like uh, once you will, you have to uh, check what all are the CDS of that particular gene and that area only you have to check because now this is the gene sequence only right uh, it is having introns exons everything is there right so for that particular thing you have to check the actual configuration of that gene and you have you will have to pick the region that is actually the coding region that is actually the coding region and then you design your gene uh, your primers from that